Iconic has made a Kubota equipment pack to go along with the Kubota DLC, and today we're going to pair them together. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be pairing the Kubota DLC with all of the equipment coming with the Kubota equipment pack from Iconic Upgrades. This has passed testing and is pending release and will be here the same day that the DLC is. That's going to be June 28th, 2022. We're going to take all these mowers, all the grass work stuff, fertilizers, and even the ground care stuff we're going to be pairing it with the perfect tractor to use with each piece of equipment and really we only need three of the nine vehicles coming with this dlc to do it the three tractors we're going to use are the ilm 6 series the m7 series and the ilm 8 series all of these are equipped with michelin wide tires and they've got the largest engine possible it is actually possible to use other pieces of equipment coming with the dlc like the m5 series or maybe you want to have a little bit of fun and throw a uh, three point on the sidekick well you could do that if you want to but we're not going to be doing that in today's video because it's probably not what 99 percent of the players will be using these for so what are we going to be using well we're going to use the kubota dm5040 mower we've got the dc or dmc 7332t uh front mower we're going to pair that with the rear mower you could probably guess we're going to use the old mate only with that setup we've also got a couple tenders we've got a windrow and a fast bail we're going to be using all of those in combination on one single setup and then i'm going to show you all of the fertilizers and these can be used with the m6 or the m7 but we'll kind of go through all that and then of course we've got plenty of ground care stuff as well i thought it'd be really fun to see all of these in action together so that's exactly what we're going to do today just a heads up before we get into this video some of the colors that you guys see on the kubota equipment may differ slightly from the colors on the kubota tractors this is because the equipment pack is still in pre-release however uh, so it has passed testing with giants giants have gone in and actually corrected the colors on here so they do match all the equipment in the game however the modders nor any youtubers anybody like that has access to that kind of stuff before the release so technically we don't have it but it will be changed up all these colors will be matching once it's here so to start things off we are going to be mowing we're going to start with the smallest one that we've got and gratefully well we can use the m6 series with well a lot of this equipment the m6 i think is going to be one of the coolest tractors and i love that bit on the front kind of looks like a sports car or something like that let's get everything hooked up we'll go ahead and turn everything on so we can see what we're doing i would venture to say that for the farmers out there that are running eh, small ish farms kind of like what i grew up on you're probably going to be used to this type of setup especially with this mower now we could go with a front mower on here as well but uh today at least with this test we're only going to be using the rear simply pop it down turn it on rock and roll we can even hire a worker on it which makes things a thousand times easier and, well there you go you can see it's got no issues whatsoever pulling it again the mower only requires 85 horsepower so uh, it's a really really easy thing to do especially with this tractor and since it only requires 80 some horsepower you could probably use it with the m5 and get away with it totally easily however it might look a little bit weird on the back of that tiny tractor for the next setup we're actually going to need the m8 and we could probably use a little bit extra horsepower for running this type of thing so this is going to be hooking up to the, the butterfly mower setup the big mower setup and as you can see we're having a little trouble with weight on here but we got everything hooked up it doesn't look too bad one thing to note here if we pop in and we take a look at our m8 series the highest engine that we've got 200 horsepower okay that's not bad nothing to scoff at for sure however if we go in and we take a look at our mowers well we've got 82 horsepower required for the front and we've got 240 required for the rear which means we got about 120 horsepower lacking well overall at least but will it do the job well let's find out and see we'll go ahead and drop down the front mower and get that turned on move forward a little bit there we go drop the rear mowers turn them on press go and is it doing it absolutely a little bit slower than uh ex well let's say expected 
a little bit slower than you're probably used to with this type of setup, but is it doing it? Yeah. I think we've actually reached our top speed already or very, very close to it. So will it work? Yes. Should you try to go up hills? M maybe not. You may want to run about three to 400 horsepower if you want to run this thing totally all the way around. But if you got a flat field like this, the Kubota M8 will do the job just fine. Now that the mowing is done, we need to get some tethers. Now we've got two of these coming with the Kubota equipment pack. We've got one that requires 80 horsepower and another that requires 60 horsepower. So really, we don't have to worry about the power requirement. We need to worry about the weight, 1.3 tons at 670 kilograms. So we'll go ahead and hook up to the smallest one right here. As you can see, no front weight on here and it's lifted it just fine. And boy, oh boy, does it look good. So we'll go ahead and unfold this, take it out, and let me get a little bit of tedding done right here. Let's see what we can get into. This should be very easy. Should work exactly the way you would expect it to. Let me get this lined up that way and get absolutely perfect. Right there, we'll go ahead and turn it on and hire the worker. We'll go ahead and speed that all the way up. Nice. Seven miles an hour, not the fastest thing in the world, but it works, I like it. The other tether is a little bit heavier. So what we're gonna do is we are going to make the front of this a little bit heavier as well. So I'm gonna add that 450 kilogram weight on the front. That should give us just enough offset to make this not really weigh that much. You could also add more just by going with front three point kind of thing, but there you go. Just a little bit extra weight on the front, and this thing works fine with the M6. I'm telling you, I think you guys are going to really enjoy using the M6 tractor. It is just a beautiful machine. It works perfect. It does almost everything you'd want to do. I know it's a little bit low on power, but come on now. It does just about whatever you want. And again, it, it's a tatter at the end of the day. It does one thing, does it well, and it is doing it. Pretty darn good. Check that out. Yes, sir. So next we need to windrow all of that hay together. And we're gonna use the singular windrow that comes with the pack. And well, it's the biggest one. So who cares? It's nice and easy. We'll go and get this thing unfolded. Just like so. Oh yeah, I forgot how this thing takes a little while to unfold, just like when base game. Does look good though, doesn't it? Imagine using all of this Kubota branded stuff in game, being able to just have some fun, create your own Kubota style farm. I love it. I love it so much. We'll go ahead and drop everything down just like so. And I mean, you guys know what it's going to do. It's not like it's a surprise. It windrows. And it looks great doing it. We're using the T or the T7, the M7 with this. Uh, it does a really good job, the M7. And uh, I think this is the perfect tractor for this piece of equipment. So I think one of the most popular things that's ever come to Farming Simulator, the Fast Bell. Well, we've got a Kubota version with this pack. You definitely want to use the M8 with this. If we go in and we take a look at least at what we've got, we go to our balers, we see it right here. It says only 150 horsepower. However, uh, I would highly recommend put as much power on this thing as you can. Trust me, you will want to. You could use the M7 series on this and you could probably even get away with using the M6, but uh, it's not that I highly advise against it. I just highly advise you to use this tractor, the M8 and put as much power on it as you possibly can we'll go ahead and turn it on oh boy we're stuck of course we are <laughs> all right let's try to do this again how about that uh, now i've come through here this is a fully fertilized field and uh it has been done with the big crone mower so we've got large swaths meaning we'll probably go a little bit slower but that's all right the reason you go slow with this and a lot of people are confused about it the reason you go slow is because of how much grass you're picking up. It kind of monitors how much grass you're picking up and says, oh, it needs to go this speed in order to pick up this amount of grass and continue to go forwards without stopping. So that is why it does it. Hopefully that helps you guys out. But yeah, Kubota branded looks good. So now that we've got all the grass work stuff out of the way, let's take a look at some fertilizer spreaders coming with this pack. First one is the Geo Spread. Now this doesn't have a power requirement as such, but it does have a weight on it. Now we're gonna try and do this with the M6. I'm not sure quite if this is gonna be heavy enough. Of course, we've got the weight on the front, but we may have to re redo this a little bit and go with the front three points. So there's our fertilizer for the back. 
And then we'll go ahead and jump in here and we'll set up some fertilizer. I never remember how to do this. Found it. All right. Set, fill, 3,900. I think we need a bigger weight. So we got the Tinwinkle 1,000 there. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this goes. First, I want to hook up to this weight. There we go. All right. There's that. So we might want a little bit more weight. It's working, but she's weighed down a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe the M7 would be a better option here rather than the M6. It's just a little bit too small. And I'm still going to try it with the same weight as well, but this should be a lot easier. And it is much, much easier. Handling it fine. This is good. Could even go with a little bit of a heavier weight on here if you really wanted to, but you don't need to. It's just up to you whether you want to do that or not. We'll bump up. I mean, it's, it's a fertilizer spreader, so it's, it does what it does, and it's doing it. There you go. I think I'd probably still recommend a little bit heavier weight on the front of this thing. So uh, if we jump over two weights, might do. See, we got the 1,000 till we go on there right now. Yeah, the 1500 would probably be more than enough. This next setup should be a little bit easier to manage with the OM6. These are going to be the liquid fertilizer tanks. We've got the front tank and the rear tank, meaning, boop, that we've got a little bit of weight offset. Now, it looks a little bit big with the M6. Maybe the M7 would be a little bit easier for you, but I think with this one, it's probably going to be fine. And fully weighed down here as well. It's... It, <laughs> It's fine. It's just what well, it's a fertilizer spreader. Just do what you need to do and get out of here, man. We'll go and get this unfolded. One more piece to unfold on the outside. Total of 2,900 liters right here. This, by the way, this mod pack has changed uh, drastically since we showed it off in the first look video. But, uh, you know, works just fine. I love it. Now, as far as using the trailed sprayer with the M6, I think that it's doable and I think it's just fine. However, I think the M7 or the M8 would be a much better solution, and it would probably look a little bit better as well. So I'm going to bring this over to our M7, and we're just going to drop it right there. Again, you could use the M8, but I'm trying to use, like, the... Sm <laughs> What's the something that you could get away with? You use anything larger, what can you use to get away with it? And I think as you can see here, this looks much, much better. It looks a whole lot closer to what we would expect here. We'll go ahead and fill it up with liquid fertilizer, which is so, so easy to do. Pulls it just fine. I've gone for the smallest boom arm uh, setup with this, just cause it's just a lot easier to deal with this than like 40 whatever my <laughs> meter you need to be big. But again, works just fine. Works like normal. Works how you would expect. And the last pieces of equipment is kind of like the ground care area. These used to be in a pack of their own, but of course now, as you know, everything is part of one pack. We have a power harrow, we have a disc harrow, a plow, we have a planter, and a cedar. Now, these are stuff that you definitely want to use weights for on the front. Uh, it, there's no reason not to, so just do it. You're welcome. Let's take a look at the ones that we're going to look at today. So uh, first up is our power harrow. This weighs a thousand kilograms or one ton, and it requires 130 horsepower. So let's find something that works. Theoretically, the M6 should be as big as we need for this, but we are going to pick up a weight because the largest weight that we could put in the front of this really doesn't line up completely with where I would want. I think either like a 1,000 yeah there we go so this weight weighs exactly the same as much as the power hero does meaning we should have perfect weight distribution between the two of these and it seems like we do this seems to be perfectly fine so we'll head over here to a spot that i've already fertilized and see what we could get ourselves into this is a plow or a uh, cultivated field so uh, not a whole lot there all right turn it on do your thing I mean, it, it's working. He's working good. It's probably speed up my guy a little bit. There we go. All right. So if we reach that theoretical seven miles per hour max speed, yeah, working just fine. Next thing we're going to look at is our disc harrow. Now this requires 100 horsepower, which our M6 can totally do. And it weighs 1.6 tons. So I'm going to keep that one ton weight that we had on the front. And it's definitely pulled it down a little bit, but I don't think we need much more than that 1,000 uh, kilogram weight on the front. 
I think that will do just fine. Again, smallest tractor running, well, I guess this piece of equipment. Run over here, drop it down, hire a worker, and see what we get into. Yeah, yet again, works perfectly fine. Now here's one that we may want to bump up our power and our tractor a little bit, the plow. So this is, it's not massive, 2.5 meters. However, it does weigh 2.3 tons and it requires 165 horsepower, meaning uh, that we should be able to do this with the M7 if we put enough weight on the front. Don't mind me, I'm just driving backwards. No big deal. Best backwards driver in farm sim. What you got, K-Bot? Come and get me, bro. Sorry. I Kind of out of hand there. Uh, so here we are. <laughs> I put a 1500 kilogram front weight on this. Um, and I just need to get out of here without hitting anything. Did I hit the planter? Nope, sure didn't. Just don't look where I was and you'll be good to go. All right, so nice big plow right here. One that we can spin and turn. Let's, uh, let's speed this up a little bit and hire a worker. See how we get along. And we get along just fine. Hitting our max speed right there, 9 miles per hour. And it looks good. Looks good doing it. 1,500 kilogram weight on the front is doing a really nice job, especially uh, while in the field, keeping everything nice and tidy and keeping that front down so we can turn uh, when needed. Of course, it runs into the wall, but that's unfortunately a normal thing. So there's that. <laughs> We go ahead and rotate this plow out as well. Get it pointed in the correct direction that we need to go. Just about there and hire our worker. Perfect. And our last tools today should be easily handled with the M6 and just a thousand uh, kilogram weight. Actually, we may, we may bump that up to 1500, but we're gonna try with a thousand. Again, best backwards driver in farm sim. Just is what it is, you know. All right, let's pick up this planter that I've completely thrown off to the side. There we go. Looking good, looking good. So this isn't really that big. So we can go ahead and open this up. Of course, it does all your planter crops, things like that. We'll head in here and we'll go ahead and add seeds and we will do some solid fertilizer as well. So we're all the way up. Uh, keep it on corn. That'll make things nice and easy for us. And uh, eh, we may as well just, ooh, okay. So the, it's actually bouncing a little bit. An M6 works, but I'm not quite sure it's a good idea. I think the M7 may be closer to what you want to go for. This has plenty of power, so it's doing exactly what you would expect. I'm just not sure the weight is there. You may want to go with a bigger tractor for this. It's also giving me a bit of problems getting over here to drop it off, but uh, we know the M7 will do just fine. I'm going to attempt this. I don't know if this is going to work well or not. Let's see if we can hook up to this. And I'm going to fill it up with seed. Uh, and for, Well, I guess just seeds. We're going to fill it up on our way out to the field. Because I want to see, does the M6 handle this? Not totally. Uh, she's definitely having a bit of an issue here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade this out for the M7. And I think it'll do just fine. And there you go, guys. That is the Kubota DLC paired up with the Kubota Equipment Pack from Iconic Upgrades. Just a reminder again that the colors may not match exactly because I still have the pre-release version. However, Giants have gone in and corrected any colors or logos or anything like that that Iconic didn't have access to beforehand. So that's great news. Giants helping the community and the modders and modders helping the community. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new join the go ahead fam be sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel i'll be said hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace